On my last video, I talked about US Air and how they made it really, really difficult for me to book a flight, which is kind of what they should want you to do. So it should be an easy transaction, but it wasn't. It's about as difficult as it possibly could have been. And so I use them as an example of the fact that you always want to make sure that you make things as easy for your customers as possible. Make it easy to accomplish the goals you want them to accomplish, whether that be engaging in and sharing your content, whether that be providing you their email addresses so you can capture them as leads, or if it's just pure sales. Whatever it is, make it easy for your customer to do. Now, I'm going to use US Air as another example this week, but from a slightly different perspective. And that is looking at what your front line says about your business. So this time, um, I took those flights that was were so hard for me to book, and going there worked well. On my way back, though, unfortunately, my flight got canceled from Philly to Portland. So there I was in Philly. I was exhausted. I had been flying for 10 hours. It was 9 o'clock at night, and I had no flight. I was stuck in Philly, and I was stuck. Everything was canceled. There were barely even hotel rooms because everyone was on the ground. They weren't getting anything out, and it wasn't looking like they could get me out until Sunday. So obviously, not in the best situation. And in situations like that, and in most, in a lot of business transaction situations, you know the business through their front line. So for US Air, their front line consisted of the agents that were working at desks, both in the customer service and then just at their check-in desks, and their phones. Those people are what make the experience for you. But unfortunately, they're often overlooked when it comes to customer experience and the values and the mission of the organization. They're overlooked. They're seen as check clock in, clock out employees, and the importance of them as brand ambassadors is not emphasized. But US Air, American Airlines did a great job with these people. I called and talked to them a total of eight times during this experience. And each time I got a different person, each time they were really, really helpful. They dealt with, they had were empath empathetic for my frustrations. They tried to help me as best as they could. And they made a really difficult situation a lot easier. I left each phone call, even when they weren't giving me what I wanted, which was just to get to Portland, feeling better, feeling more hopeful, feeling like there was an opportunity, and really in a much better place. So their front line did much better for their brand than the brand itself actually did in other ways. Um, it saved their brand. So important, and a front line really does make or break your brand. Another example is I had booked a hotel room, I got to a hotel, and I'm by this point I'm so exhausted, and I just wanted to go to bed they couldn't find my reservation. But instead of taking me through the loops and you know making me have to wait and deal with this and deal with that and try to call different people, they just took care of me, they got me in, they gave me a room and they told me they would figure it out and let me know and make sure that whatever other reservation I made was canceled so I wouldn't be charged. They took control, they took care of it and they took care of me. They made the, my customer experience their first priority. Once again, another great experience in a really bad situation. So those two, this was Residence Inn, I should give them a shout out as well, Residence Inn has a great customer experience. So those two frontline experiences totally changed, was a really kind of not great situation for me and made it so much better. Plus it also left me, it made me walk away from those two brands with a very positive feeling. And that could have gone absolutely the opposite direction in both of those cases. So make sure that you devote the time, the energy, and the training in your front line. Look at who those people are, those people that first communicate with your customer, both in times of crisis, in times of their experience of their brands, in times of when they want to make a sales decision. And make sure those people are as well, if not better trained, as the rest of your workforce, because those are your brand ambassadors to the consumers, those people are who your brand is.